Dinosaur Woods by George McClements. Can seven clever critters save their forest home? The seven friends are Richard and Rachel the rabbits, Cough the bird, Jimbo the deer, Milton the snake, Luke the bear, and Rojo the fox. In four days, seven friends were going to lose their home. This troubled them greatly. They tried to speak to the people responsible. Um, could we chat? Hello up there. But for some reason, nobody would answer or listen. Anybody home? What are we going to do, asked Luke. We've tried everything. I know, said Rojo, but we can't give up. We need something new, something big, something amazing. So the friends started to think, and thinking, and thinking, and thinking, until Rojo struck an idea. Actually, it was a piece of paper, but he had an amazing idea. That's it, he cried. We'll build a dinosaur. There's no way they'll tear down our home if they think a dinosaur lives here. Everyone agreed. The friends spent the rest of the day collecting materials. Sticks and leaves and vines and logs and burlap. Do you hear power tools? Yep, big ones. Then Rojo spent the next 36 hours working in total secrecy until the dinosaur was finished. Well, how does it work? asked Jimbo. It's easy, said Rojo. First we climb in, second we take our pre-assigned stations, and third we scare away the guys on the bulldozers. Look, said Luke, someone's coming. So we get rid of that tree, that one right there. Two men, making their final demolition check, entered the clearing. Quick, everyone to your station, shouted Rojo. Rojo took a deep breath, he crossed his fingers, and then he roared a terrible roar. Roar! It worked. The men ran for their lives. Yikes! We gotta tell somebody! As word of the dinosaurs spread, scientists and news crews from around the world flocked to the tiny patch of woods. This is great, said Rojo. Nothing can go wrong. And that's when it did. It was chaos inside the dinosaur. But the biggest problem that came when Rojo failed to notice a cable on the ground. Uh-oh. Biggest problem. Crash! Down came the dinosaur. When the dust cleared, the friends found themselves surrounded by cameras and clipboards. Get ready for some shouting, said Rojo. And he was right. There was shouting. 
excited shouting. A big mouth jinx fox, a bronchial woodpecker, a Himalayan frost bear. Crabby faced punching rabbits, a left footed klutz deer, a drop tail adder. It turned out that the friends were something called endangered, and Milton's case extinct. An important scientist declared the tiny patch of woods a protected site, and she named it Dinosaur Woods. So, in the end, the small group of friends did have something did have something to save their home. It wasn't new, it wasn't big, but it was amazing. They had each other in the dinosaur woods.